Welcome to the show, everyone. We're going to have a blast in here because we got all newbies. And the newbies get nervous. When they're nervous, I'm nervous. <laughs> but I love my newbies. I love having them on. I'm going to network with everybody right away. My first guest is Dr. Michael Kravitz, and he is the medical director of Encompass Health Valley of the Sun. Come on and get up on that mic so everybody can hear you, doctor. Tell us a little bit about yourself and what you do. Well, thanks, Carol. It's, uh, it's great to be here with you guys. And uh, I am a physical medicine and rehabilitation physician. So I've been practicing for over 30 years. I take care of people in the hospital who have had traumatic injuries, uh, strokes, spinal cord injuries, head trauma, anyone who gets admitted to a hospital and they've had some complex medical problems, maybe they're in the ICU, they're not ready to go home, they really uh, need to have more therapy and medical care. So one of the possibilities is they can go to a nursing home. We think of um, skilled nursing facilities as nursing homes and they get some degree of therapy and medical care. But I work in a uh, specialty hospital where we have uh, trained physicians, board certified physicians, therapists, nurses, the whole gamut of services to really uh, provide for patients. So obviously someone was not having a very good day, right. obviously, <laughs> but more so than that, it could be that I'll use my mother as an example, who was in the hospital, got old, was older, and she couldn't really get herself, she was so tiny, so little, that she never really got well enough, but she wasn't bad enough to stay in the hospital. She needed to get what you would call rehabilitation. Which is, is that, do you do um, any kind of rehabilitation or certain areas? We, we do general rehabilitation, and that's a good example. So someone like your mom who was in the hospital maybe became weak and deconditioned. She's not ready to go home and be independent, so she really needs that extra therapy, and she, she probably has some additional medical problems that need to be um, monitored right. um, by physicians and nurses. Now, you're located uh, at 67th Avenue and Thunderbird, and the website is Encompass, so it's with an E, EncompassHealth.com, and then there's forward slash Valley of the Sun. The number to call is 623-878-8800. And when you're working with people, I mean, do they have to have like a recommendation? How do they get to you? So patients or, or anyone in the community can be referred to us. It's usually case managers in hospitals. We have rehabilitation liaisons. They'll go, go out and interact. Before COVID, they would go out and interact with uh, case managers, physicians, nurses in the hospital. We get a referral from someone and then we do a thorough evaluation. We look at the medical records, make sure they qualify for our level of care. And then we also work with physicians in the community and um, other people, hospice, we, we sometimes will get hospice patients. So it's really a gamut of uh, referrals and and we try to do a very thorough evaluation to see if they qualify for our level of care. Well, sometimes you need to tell them, just like, you know, on, on, the, on, the, on the radio and okay. on like, you know, uh, television when you see things about medication, let's say, and you say, you know, doc, or even when you have a parent, let's say, or somebody you know might be in the hospital and they're no, and you know they're getting out. Maybe they hear this information and they say, I heard about this place. Would, you, would it be okay that we get, you know, check that out? Is that kind of how it would work? Yes. Yeah, so, again, sometimes people hear about us in the community. Uh, most of the time. Someone, on the radio. On the radio now with Carol, so yeah. that's even better. Um, but most of the referrals are from, from a hospital setting. And um, like I said, we're a specialty hospital, so... We have board certified um, rehabilitation specialists like myself, there are four of us, and then nurses and uh, therapists, and we work as a team. That's one nice thing about this level of care. In the acute care hospital, if you're in a, a regular hospital, you're really kind of getting seen by the nurse and the physician, and everyone works independently. But in my setting, people are in the hospital for anywhere from you know, two to six weeks. So you really get to know the patient, you get to know the families, and uh, we have team meetings every week to talk about how our patients are doing. And so this is a much more intense level of care compared to going to a nursing home. You know, if, if it was my family member and had the opportunity to go to a nursing home versus coming to rehab, um, it's it's definitely much better if you can get to my There are also two care. different things in a, in a sense. A nursing home could be very, you know, the last and the things maybe you're not they could walk right out after getting your uh, rehabilitation oh, from you definitely. that's what the key is that's what your goal is i'm assuming right we, we get we get about 75 to 80 percent of our patients home and these are people that have had catastrophic injuries strokes spinal cord injuries they could even be paraplegic 
someone in, in a bad motorcycle or automobile accident. Um, we're taking care of COVID patients that are recovering now too. So COVID people can come yes. as well. It doesn't really matter. And what kind of, what are you seeing with that? That's kind of an inter- interesting thing from people that are dealing with COVID. What have they, uh, what have the effects been where that brought them to you? Right. So for us, you know, we're seeing patients who have recovered from COVID. They're, when they get to our hospital, they're not contagious. We're really bringing them in and trying to do this intense physical occupational speech therapy. But we see people that are very deconditioned. The patients we're taking care of, you know, can barely walk. Uh, Some of them have some delirium or confusion from COVID. um, Just really affects the lungs and the heart. So we have our physicians that are managing the, the medical part of it. And then the therapists are really trying to get them stronger. So it's, it's really, really sad. A good approach. And but it's it is, wonderful it that you have this. And that's what I love about the show. It's information for people out there. Maybe it's you. Maybe it's someone that you know. Maybe they had COVID and they have some effects from it, right? I right. mean, that could be. Let's say somebody had a stroke and they had it. Maybe they're not completely yet better. And they may have had it a while back. Does it matter how long that it's been? Or, you know, can you help them still? Or oh, how does that we work? Definitely, we definitely can help patients who have had strokes. Even, even years later, we get referrals. Um, and we'll bring them into the hospital, do an evaluation, do some intensive therapy. In the past, we had some outpatient therapy in our hospitals. We're, we're really mainly just providing hospital-level care right now. But someone who's had multiple sclerosis or even some other type of disability, um, and they want more therapy, and they need that intensive level of care. And they usually stay how long again? So it can be anywhere from as little as five days to two months. But the average length of stay in in my hospital, the hospital I work at, is about two weeks. Now the phone number to call, 623-878-8800. You do patient evaluations, but is the first thing for them to do is, is by getting it through a doctor referral, or how does that work? Yes, yeah, so most, again, most of the, it's going to be through a physician referral, case manager in the hospital. Um, families, you know, people listening to the program today could call the hospital and say, look, I have someone at home that's, you know, not doing well. Maybe they're getting some home health care and they need more intensive medical treatment and therapy. And so we would evaluate them and, and, uh, potentially bring them into the hospital. So you see, that I love that that's a possibility because, you know, sometimes, you know how you, there's just those times where you know there's something still wrong, you know, and right. maybe your doctor there just, you just say, gosh, I really think that this might be perfect for my mother or my brother or whoever it is that you're, you're, you know that might be dealing with something, they can actually also call. You don't necessarily have to have that doctor's referral. Right, correct. And and I'm going to brag a little bit about our hospital. We, um, we're Part, we're part of a big corporation um, hospital system, 135 hospitals, and this year we were number one in the entire company for patient satisfaction. And our, our nursing care is just beyond belief. For five years, from 2015 through 2019, uh, in our region, uh, which is the western region, there are 18 hospitals, our nursing level of care was number one for the entire year for five years in a row. Congratulations. Yeah, so That's awesome. Is, because we take that seriously, making sure people are happy with the care. Absolutely. It's all about that. Yeah. And uh, the website, again, it's Encompass. So it's E. It's with an E. e Encompass Health. Dot com. It's forward slash Valley of the Sun. They're located at 67th Avenue and Thunderbird. Maybe you tell your doctor that you heard about this. Maybe you yourself want to make somebody uh, get a little bit better. You never know. Uh, that you can call and you can get a what they call a patient evaluation. That phone number to call again, 623-878-8800. What are your final words, Doc? Well, my final words are, you know, um, if you're out there in the community and you really need some help, if you have a loved one, or even for yourself, and you feel like they need more therapy, you know, give us a call. We'll, we'll definitely um, try to help you out. It's Encompass with an E, health.com forward slash Valley of the Sun. The number is 623-877-8800.